Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be reacting to Bethesda's E3 conference and I'm super super excited. They've been saying that this one's gonna be a pretty good one. I know a lot of people are expecting a new IP. Obviously we're going to hear a lot about Fallout 76 and Rage 2, and we probably are going to be hearing a little bit more about the upcoming DLC for ESO. And hopefully, good old God Howard has some surprises for us. This is something I've never played on my channel, but I actually am really hoping that, you know, maybe a new Doom title gets announced, and obviously, first off, if you're new here, obviously I'm an Elder Scrolls channel if you couldn't tell by everything in the background, but yes, secretly, I am hoping for the Elder Scrolls 6. Am I expecting it? Not at all. Will I still be heartbroken if it doesn't get announced? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm gonna come at it positively, at least, you know, the longer they take. Hopefully the better it will be, the more time they've put into it. So I'm not gonna be petty about it this year. Not gonna be petty. Maybe. But yeah, last year I was actually joined by Ryder to do this video, but sadly today he has to work and it's a sin. So instead we have Joffrey the Mud Crab here and Dova Kitty's off somewhere, wandering around, I, I don't know. Maybe she'll appear in the background occasionally, I don't know. But yeah, I know I'm blabbing a lot, so I'll just go ahead and let us pick up again whenever the conference actually starts. Which is literally 30 minutes from now, I don't know why I started recording this early, but here I am. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention was I am watching this on Twitch, and ESO had actually said something about giving us some free stuff if we watch through Twitch, so... Maybe after this is all over, we can go and see what that is, shall we? If it gives it to us automatically, I don't know. But Bethesda really does provide our communities with pretty much everything they could ever ask for. Which must be why we have such incredible and Elder dedicated Scrolls fans. Six. <laughs> I love Bethesda fans. No, I'm being petty. Those I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm so excited and concerned about Fallout 76, like... Hmm. At least we get to finally know more about it today. Okay. Okay, guys, it's time. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm already about to cry and like nothing's happened yet. This is gonna go great. Don't you dare lag. Ooh. Ooh, I will fight. <laughs> I will fight everything. My router, my computer, just everything. Okay, okay. Nine, eight, Bring us Todd or Pete, either way, or anyone. Just give me anyone, please. <laughs> Hide behind mud crab. Uh, oh, gotta have another wholesome thing with the children again at the beginning. I think they did this last year. I think something like it. <laughs> ah, more so about the creators, not the children this time. Okay. <laughs> Same. A life goal of mine is just to get to go to like any Bethesda Game Studios place, like ever. So like, please. <laughs> I doubt I can just stroll in, but it'd be so cool. I saw Skyrim. Don't, don't you dare release- okay. My bet, they're gonna release something Skyrim related for ESO, so they're still kind of <laughs> re-releasing Skyrim. Place your votes now, because that's my guess. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. We done with the introductions, or? Pete Hines. Yay, okay, oh! There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh my gosh, it's lagging. spread around the globe, the incredibly talented- <laughs> We brought full open world VR with Fallout 4 and Skyrim, plus Doom VFR, and we- I'm gonna get Skyrim VR someday, you guys, Doom and <laughs> I will of course be showing you via video. So we were thrilled when Metacritic- Someday, who knows when, probably like 10 years. Publisher. We're starting with a game that we announced a few weeks ago through our friends at Walmart Canada. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great. I have to say, like, I don't know anything about Rage, so I'm probably not going to be including much about Rage in this video. Just because I literally know nothing about it. Like, I'm sure it's cool, but it's not really my my genre, you know? They brought out a band. I don't know what else I expected, but here we are. <laughs> that woman looks so concerned. <laughs> ah, Elder Scrolls Legends. I've never even tried to play it yet. I'm just not a card game person. From ZeniMax Online Studios. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so. Oh, are they just going to talk about Somerset? They better talk about the new DLC. I think they're supposed Thank to. You. <sighs> okay, I'm Thanks, excited. Everyone. But we're not done there. Uh, we make we make DLC every quarter for uh, for okay and, and chapters, new DLC. You know, here we go. Content comes out so regularly for Elder Scrolls Online. We're already working on our great plans for next year. But before that, the next DLC coming out is a dungeon DLC named Wolf Hunter, based on werewolves. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. 
I do like to run dungeons every and now and then with my this guild, year, so. We have a story DLC named Merkmire. We're going back to Black Marsh. So you guys have all oh, been asking okay. for a deeper dive into Argonian lore and culture. You're going to see it later this year. That looks beautiful. That looks so pretty. Okay, okay. Yay. That runs it wasn't through Skyrim. All of the Look at that, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <sighs> a new do game? Did I say do game? Excellent. Yes, okay. Oh, there is no better stress reliever than just like just playing Doom. Like, something about it, just so satisfying. So we're back to announce Doom Eternal. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Ooh. I'm, I'm excited, An I'm excited. An awesome, awesome new sequel to Doom. For the past two years, it's been so inspiring to hear you guys talk about what you'd like to see I'm next. So excited. Ooh. And okay. I gotta tell you, we're right there with you. I am you. pumped. <laughs> you want even more badass demons? Well, there are twice as many in this game. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm excited. You want to see oh. hell on earth? Well, we we just teased it. <laughs> you know, things like a chair, a coffee mug. Oh my a God, it's prop hunt banana. button prey. Whatever works. I was but wanting to try out prey, but now I really want worker, to. Right? Huh. There are a lot of you who are really here or really wondering about Fallout 76. <laughs> Yep, okay, let's hear about it. I'm very, I'm very curious. <laughs> I really Ladies hope it's gonna be good. Blades and awards. Here he comes. And he's here tonight to tell us what he and his team have been taking so damn long to tell us all about. <laughs> Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. Yay, okay. I was so sad that he wasn't there at last year's E3. But there he is. Bethesda dad. I am so blessed to gaze upon him on this day. You're My life goal good. is to personally cry in front of Todd Howard oh, it's someday. Great to be but we know that most of you came here for one thing. Todd Howard! Thank you. <laughs> Same. Same. That's why I'm watching. <laughs> I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> well, I think we have the best one yet. Oh no. Todd? The Elder Scrolls speak of the past and the future. Now, Skyrim looks to the future, to its ultimate oh, version. What are they doing? Alexa, play Skyrim. <laughs> You're level 57 no. and see a tall snowy mountain. <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> First road off. I didn't catch that. At least they're embracing First it, huh? I didn't quite catch no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I cannot I eat believe. All of the cheese. Introducing yeah. Skyrim, very special <laughs> edition. Also coming soon to Etch a Sketch, <laughs> Motorola Pagers, oh, and your Samsung oh, Smart Shut up! Oh. I'm gonna cry. This is great. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> At least they embraced it, you guys. At least they embraced it. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Had to, had to do it, had to do it. You know, he had to do it to us. And that's to talk about the next Fallout. Would prefer the next Elder Scrolls, but I'll accept this, Fallout I guess. Fallout 70... Is this the same trailer as earlier, though, that they showed at Microsoft? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so I have already seen this already, sadly, so... Not my first reaction. But it looks absolutely beautiful. Now tell us more about it, please. Like, oh, I'm so curious. I know everyone else is, too. I'm just, like, so focused right now. <laughs> I cannot speak. We'll take you through oh. six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. This is so cool. There's plenty of What's cool new Fallout robots? creatures, oh. and we even use oh. the folklore That's a big of West boy. Virginia. But there is one big difference with this game. Uh-huh. It's that each of those characters is a real person. Okay, I'm com- mm. Hmm. Okay, so it's Fallout Online. So long as I don't have to do deal with the other people, like, really I'm fine. Way. We'll still probably now, enjoy I it. You may have played survival <laughs> I was kind of hoping more for, like, a co-op thing that just me and Ryder could play it together, but- we, You'll be oh. in a world with dozens, 
not hundreds and not thousands okay, of okay. other players. It's the so apocalypse. It's not, it's not an amusement park, okay? And so it's not a huge MMO. Join your like friends. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. See, I am a little bit conflicted about this, just because like a lot of um, PvP multiplayer type of games, they stress me out because I'm like really competitive and really nervous. So, hmm. Chin up there, I don't know. I'm really Not conflicted. I wonder if you can like just have kind of like private servers for just you and your friends without the random people mixed in. Cause I'd like that. But I don't know, I'm a little bit conflicted about the random people thing. If you can well, have a private server, fallouts, yes, but if not, this game mm, solo I mean, very good yeah, on them for trying something new. I'm just, I'm so conflicted about it right now. I'm gonna need some time to sit on this. <laughs> and if you guys really want me to play it, then I will. Because evidently these online games are hard. They can have some nasty <laughs> issues. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> Don't I listen did. to the I haters, read it Todd. On the internet, so it's true. Don't listen to the haters. And that uh, sometimes the glitches are features. They are features. It doesn't just work. Oh, <laughs> my heart! Anyway, we know together that hurt. That we are going to build Leave something. Leave Todd alone. Uh, Still haven't tried Fallout Shelter, mostly because my phone has no storage on it. So to say maybe it will. Versions. And we did have another one that was far, far more ambitious, and we've been building it. And it's in the other franchise that you love from us. It is called The Elder Scrolls Blades. Oh, okay. New Elder Scrolls thing. My, my phone doesn't have the room for it, like but Fallout Shelter, I'll delete everything. We want a person <laughs> oh. RPG with console quality graphics, but with a uniquely your specific Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually really excited for this because it's like, oh, I know like Shadow Key and everything. Or maybe it was Shadow Key. God, can be played my brain is like mode. glitching out now. But I know that they've released mobile games like that one was incredibly way back, important to us that you could play. I have not played. You wanted just because you can't play them really anywhere. So like, you'll need a free hand. It's, oh. it's incredible outdoor areas. Yes, running. I never thought phone, I'd be so excited really for an app. <laughs> My phone ain't gonna incredible. run this. I'm gonna steal Ryder's phone for this. Oh my god. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. This is an Elder Scrolls. <laughs> and we are gonna bring blades to every device and system we can. Phones, PCs, consoles. Good. Also virtual <laughs> reality. On mobile. Dang. That's crazy. Blades oh. is coming this fall for free. Yay! Okay, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. And tell you what we have coming beyond this year in oh. the future. Oh. Please we have do. also been working on a brand new next generation single player game. Yep. Yep. New IP? Our first. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Oh, so apparently not anytime soon. We're excited but. to announce our next adventure. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, it's space, it's in space, okay. Okay, hello. Yep, Starfield. Okay, okay, oh, get out of here, Blaze. <laughs> all right, so is that all we get to see about it? We're also building toward the game after that. And it's the one mm -hmm. you keep asking about. Mm -hmm. Oh! Wait, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god! I can't okay, process. Actually, I'm too excited. I'm really done. I just want to thank no, you all for your time smart. tonight. The Todd. time you've spent in our worlds. We'll see you out there. <laughs> oh, I 
can't hold behind behind the mud crab, you guys! You guys! Another round of applause, please, for Todd Howard. Yes, I will applaud you, Todd. <laughs> he has blessed us all. <sighs> oh my god, no, I need to look at that again. My eyes got all watery instantly. <sighs> oh my god! Get out of here! <laughs> Not you, Pete, but the pop-up, game, you know. <laughs> new, new and for else I wasn't expecting world. anything about so Elder Scrolls 6, so we'll like... Have a good night and a great E3. <laughs> okay, is that everything? Because I need to rewatch that. I need to rewatch that. Oh my god. Okay, no, there it is again. It was there. Bring that back. Can I? I don't know how to work Twitch. <laughs> can I re? Can I rewind? Let me rewind. I don't know if I can. You guys, you guys. I'm so excited. That had to have been Hammerfell, right? Right? Did I call it? Did I call it? I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. No, I need to see that again. Can I go like, like YouTube or something, please? Show me a different live stream. Uh, can I rewind this here? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, good. I can rewind on YouTube. Show me that again, please. I'm sorry, Starfield, that I'm pushing you aside like this. I, I am excited. <laughs> but you guys know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got a tweet. Just got a got a tweet. An important one. I see some high rock. I see some high rock predictions. I hope not because I think high rock is a little bit basic, but I'll take anything. I can't believe it. I just I can't. I want to see what people think it is. Like I saw high rock. I'm kind of thinking Hammerfell. Like the ocean and everything just very Hammerfellish. Looked a little bit sandy. You guys. Ugh. Someone says I saw tropical and snowy mountains. Am I missing something? Am I blind? What am I? You know, it could be High Rock. See, I thought that was all snow. Or snow. Sand. I don't see any snow. <sighs> guys, I swear if I was right. I got that intuition. What can I say? I don't know. That's my best guess. It's one of the two. I'm hoping for I'm hoping for Hammerfell. Um, but I bet this won't be for at least another couple of years. Like, okay. Well, I guess now uh, we could go ahead and see if I got that stuff in ESO. Like, honestly, who cares at this point? Because Elder Scrolls freaking six. I'm sorry, Joffrey. Is that it's happening. You gotta look at it. Okay, okay. Let's let's stop torturing my cat. I'm going to go ahead and jump onto ESO. Okay, new daily reward. I don't care about daily rewards. Do I get the stuff? Oh wow. Okay, I don't see it, but maybe they'll send it later. I don't care right now. I, I, I just mm, get off of there. But okay, you guys, this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are excited as I am because I'm losing my mind. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.